Today we're talking about the clean water economy. Those parts of the economy that are impacted either directly or indirectly by clean, plentiful water. And really understanding um, how this clean water economy is important to our community, especially the Everglades region. With a red tide event or a water quality event or a blue-green algae event, we don't see it coming nine times out of ten. We don't know how long it's going to last. And so when we look at, at our insurance policies, the loss of business doesn't cover that event. And so when we look at Everglades restoration and the time, talent, and treasure that we invest into it, that's our insurance policy for the future. Even Florida Realtors at that time didn't even have a water policy. So it took us two years to show them why we need to be involved with water. And we have one of the largest water policies now as an organization. As the red tide becomes an issue and the blooms are sitting off of our um, beautiful communities, a lot of our seasonal residents are then faced with the decision, do we come home? And when they do decide to stay north, there's a real impact. What are we gonna do for our water-based businesses? We've had a much more effective voice, both the local and state level, and a lot of it has to do with what's happening in, on this campus, what's happening um, throughout our county, that's not just the conservation groups talking. It is the students that are now being educated on how to articulate to advocate properly for our waters.